It all happened last week. I was walking home with a pile of cash I just got for saving the President of the United States. Give me the key. Please don't, just tell me which key. Oh, you know which key. The one that unlocks the United States of America. Did anyone order the one alive president? That's when I saw her. Our eyes met. We started to talk. Oh, what an amazing conversation that was. But that's when he showed up. Yo, babe, why are you talking to this guy? I saw a grin on his face. I knew he was about to make some stupid joke. I, for instance, make video games. So you know I got quick fingers. <laughs> Damn it. That was the best joke I've ever heard. But she didn't buy it. I don't know. I like him. Whatever, bitch. I'm cool. Just forget him. I bet you know how to make a video game too, right? <laughs> I froze. <laughs> Right? Knowing the price I'll have to pay. I shook my head. She threw the money to my face. Here, I don't want your money. Which was weird. I don't remember giving it to her. But she didn't explain. She didn't want to. Not to a guy like me. A scum. A guy who doesn't know how to make a video game. That day I swore to myself that I will make one. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are making a video game and after that we are having a soup party. That's right, free soup for everyone. Things we'll need. A computer, a drawing tablet, a mouse. If you don't have some of those, don't worry, you can always steal it. Next, a game genre. You can think one yourself or just use random generator, which I did. Now that we know what we are making, let's design a character. A good approach I found is that you can actually steal it, but I will be making my own tonight. Ooh, look at those lines, mm. Oh no, what is this? Oh, look at this mess, I made too many characters. How do you choose which one to keep? Random generator, that's right. Don't make your own decisions. I guess pixel art is cool, so let's pixelate it. And just like that we have a character drawing. But playing with a drawing isn't very fun, because I want to be able to run slash enemies and stuff, and that's where the game engine comes in. Again, I encourage you to steal one. Oh, never mind, it's actually free. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we play. Oh no, what's happening? It's coding alarm. What is going on? Oh, don't tell me. It turns out you need to know C sharp to work in Unity, which I don't know. But at the moments like this, I always remember what my late uncle used to say. Best way to absorb something new is pumped straight into your veins. He died of heroin overdose. It works! I am programming! And just like that our character moves. But now we are just moving the same drawing into the computer screen. That's where our secret guest walks in. Everybody welcome! Animation! Now, this is where you'll have to be very patient. It may take a lot of time to get your first animation right. Done! Oh, okay. So let's import them and it works! Great job everyone, we are naturals! But last time I checked, it was hack and slash not stand and run. <laughs> so let's make a slash animation. Now this one can be time consuming. Done! Ha, you think you're done, huh? But we need more than one. Oh, you have two. And now if you click faster, you perform a combo attack in which second attack is faster. Let's continue with jump animation. Improvise, explore space. Add as many animations as you want. And to spice it up, add some particles. Now don't hate me, but I won't be using Unity's particle system. I know, I know, I can be a monster. While I bet it would be fun to live in an empty space forever, we should still make a world our character can live in. Let's mix in some ground he can firmly stand on, some clouds he can look at, and some other things you want. And we have a world! Shh, you heard that? Oh, I think I know what that is. Meet Mr. Pyle, he'll be our testing subject for now. Later on we are replacing him with something scarier. Although Mr. Pyle can be quite scary too. Now that he can no longer fly, we are ready to implement some real enemies. The bird. He doesn't really attack, he's mostly just laying eggs, helping economy, minding his own business in general. A bull. Pretty ugly fella, doesn't have a lot of friends, hates everyone, even its own kind, thinks pen should be illegal. Hatchling. 
And knowing as well, if it was my baby, I would probably keep it in an egg too. At the moment he is going through a phase, explosion phase, but he will probably never grow out of it. Spiky boy. Not very sharp player, bad skeleton, good kind of mentality, mostly just swings his sword. The all-seeing eye. Pretty much an alcoholic stepfather, always wants to know where you are and tries to shoot you for no good reason. Since till now we were immortal, it's not really a fight, more like a genocide. To make things fair, let's make a health system. Player can take up to 5 hits, each time he gets a hit he loses 1 health, if he kills an enemy he gains 1. Which still keeps us immortal, it's just that we are white now. I know killing can be fun by itself, but let's keep a count of how many things we've actually killed, so you can try and beat your last high score. Another great advice from my late uncle. We miss you Ben. To make it even better let's make a combo system, where we get awarded for killing while not getting hit. Make a simple wave spawner so more enemies keep coming in. So far we have 25 waves and after that a massacre begins and it's a game. Can we serve it? Wait, let's check if there aren't any hairs in our game. Fish them out if you find any. Now you wanna serve it. Wait again. Nobody starts from the main meal, right? We need to make an appetizer first, which will be our main menu. When we got that, I'll add sounds to our game, optional sounds, make some finishing touches and serve. Enjoy! I can't believe it I actually made it, making this video was probably even harder than the game itself. If you want to check the game I'll leave the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you all for watching and good night!